Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has said there is a lot of work for his party, the Conservatives, to do after the results of a big vote across England and Wales, which saw his party lose in many areas. Ricky has been finding out more about what the results mean. Last week, millions of adults put an X in a box, voting in elections which have a big impact on all our lives. Now the results are in, let's take a look at what happened. First up, a by-election in Blackpool South. That's where voters get to choose a new Member of Parliament, who will then represent the people of that area. Labour Party, 10,825. <laughs> Chris Webb from the Labour Party won the vote, beating his Conservative challenger. Adults also voted across England in elections that decide who will run important services in local areas. They're the people in charge of things like schools, traffic and even bin collections where you live. As the votes were counted, it soon became clear that it wasn't the outcome Prime Minister Rishi Sunak would have wanted. His party, the Conservatives, lost more than 470 councillors across England. The Labour Party, the Liberal Democrats and the Green Party won in lots of areas. People also voted to choose 11 mayors in different regions and cities across England. A mayor is someone who oversees the running of a city. Labour held on to London, Manchester and Liverpool. They also won back the mayoral vote in the West Midlands. But Richard Parker is duly elected. Labour's Richard Parker beat Andy Street from the Conservatives. The only bit of good news for the Conservative Party was when Ben Houchen was re-elected as the Mayor of Tees Valley. In England and Wales, adults voted for police and crime commissioners. They look after the police in local areas. Now experts are watching the results of this year's local election closely for clues about the possible results of a UK-wide vote in a general election that's expected later this year.